Hi guys, today we're gonna do an episode of Meetings with MD. It's been a while because uh, MD's been running around doing a lot of projects and working on with our engineers. So today we're taking this opportunity to showcase the items we've been working on. And MT, thank you for joining us. Um, would you like to explain to us what you've been working on at Vintage Speed recently? Okay, so uh, I say hello first, and I would like to start from the exhaust. Uh, this is our popular Vintage Speed Eco Lens uh, header system with our special sports sound muffler. So what we did is we increased this number four cylinder. We make more room here, so you see it's plenty of room here. In this case, that you can run the uh, full flow all your line a lot easier, connect to all your filter. So this has been improved, and the header st system still equal lens also. Okay, the second thing will be our uh, oil filler you see here. Okay, so this is a uh, two connect AM fitting. We connect to the air filter housing. Uh, the reason is this is a uh, dash uh, 8AN. So 8AN, the inner diameter is like a 9mm. So the two of 9mm equal to like 18mm, which is requirement for stock uh, 1600cc for Volkswagen. They come with 18mm breather pipe already. So we make this setup for mild engine. You know? Okay. So, so yeah. just to backtrack a little bit, for the 18 millimeter yes. uh, holes on the, it's on the 1600 VWs, but late models with the injection, correct? Yes, all the injection come with the 18 millimeter uh, breather hole. So that's why we, we would recommend having the two breather hole, two vents, yes. so that it, it's at least standard with the late engines. Yeah, but this is for a mild, engine let's say below two liter or below 125 horsepower okay. can you bring me the breather tube yeah, we, yeah, we sure. can show to uh, our fans so when you have a larger engine let's say more than two liter we really recommend this guy uh, we put on here uh, uh, below the deck lid okay so if you have more than two liter I really recommend you use our uh, breather okay and the reason we mount it very high because we want to separate oil and air okay yes and we mount the because the the cooling air comes here so we hope this tube keep cool okay that means oil and air can separate a lot easier so a lot less of it goes into the atmosphere yes okay yes and by the way I, can we show our fans the SPR filter? Oh yeah, just one second. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so this is the air filter. Yeah. And um, I'll just point it out, in this setup over here, it is already installed inside the air filter housing on both sides. And uh, MT, would you like to explain the, the special parts about our air filter? Yes, we are working on this for a while and we did two upgrades. And the first is uh, all stainless steel. That means uh, you have no chance to catch the backfire from carburetor popping a pong pong. And then we make this uh, thickness a little bit smaller than the regular K and N mm -hmm. because we give you more air here, you know around the stacks so that you have better airflow. Uh, this filter you can replace uh, all the filter on the market, the oval one for the IDF and the uh, DRLA. Okay, but it's the IDAs that we're still currently developing. So for the customers out there, or for our fans, if you're wondering if the IDAs can fit, eventually yes, we're working on them right now. Yes, we are working now. Yeah. And don't forget, uh, I would like to explain one more time. So this oil filler, we saw the breather tube. This is for engine like up to 125 horsepower. If you have a bigger power, uh, I don't recommend these two pipes system. 
you better run our breather tube. So just to confirm, with a larger engine, you yeah. recommend going with the breather tube that we offer. Yes. And also, if they're on the older engines. Okay. Uh, yeah. If you have a very tired engine or worn out piston ring, yep. you have a lot of air come from the engine case. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry for my English. You have lots of air. Here you see it's white smoke air a lot. That means your piston ring uh, were worn out. Okay. In that case, you need uh, our breather tube also because okay. it will help to separate air and oil. Okay. Yeah. So just that's just to kind of overview the, um, the differences and the needs for the breather tubes or a direct connect between the carburetors and our oil filler. Yep. Um, is there, ah, so about this, this one we did at the auction, I believe. If you guys out there remember, this was the, the brass bracket exhaust. And would you like to explain a little bit about this one? Okay, so this is typical for show season because, uh, you know, still summer is coming. And if you would like to enter some car shows and if you got a show car, we provide, I think we still have five or six left. It's difficult to make the polished muffler. Yeah. So this is special for this summer. If you have a show car and you would like to enter the show, get the best of show, mm -hmm. you can get our polished, complete polished muffler with this brass uh, bracket. So which model, just to confirm, which model will be compatible with this exhaust? Uh, this is typical for common gear and uh, bug. Okay. Uh, with an uh, apron cutout. And with the uh, Type 4? Uh, type 4 you can put this also, okay. but we, we have our equivalence header that fit on Type 1 engine. So it could be a Type 4 engine or it could be a Type 1 engine, but that means you need to use our equivalent headers to make sure it fits with your common gear or your bug. Yeah. Right. I think that, that about wraps it up for today, MT. Thank you a lot for explaining all the various things you've been working on for the last month or two. And if you have any questions about any of these parts, definitely DM us directly. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.